got a nice little taco truck again classic classic california vibes for the labeling i absolutely love the design Let's see what we got on the ingredients list here again the the same same vinegars as the last one you also have uh the hydr the hydrated chili peppers the arbol and the guajillo but you also have jalapeno peppers sea salt habanero peppers shallots spices and garlic Shake that bad boy up. I'm very excited for this. Uh, probably a third of my sauces that I have that are just like readily available to me uh, are, are are ones that I would consider like t great taco sauces. I think doesn't love a good taco. You know what I'm saying? Oh. A little bit richer of a smell than the last one. So you get a nice. Mm. Again, a strong, strong smell of that those dehydrated peppers. The arbol and the guajillo. Mm. Okay, this one's a little thinner. Nothing wrong with that though, especially for a taco sauce. You don't really want, when you're talking about a, a good taco sauce, you don't really want a chunkier sauce, in my opinion, because you, can, you kind of already have great textures going on with, with what you're eating in the taco. Mm. More subtle than the last one. You have a, 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 a again the, those dehydrated peppers coming in at full force, but then you have a nice mellowness about you, as opposed to like the the habanero burn that you got from the last one. You have a real nice jalapeno flavor coming through, super mellow. Um, like I could I, I could chug this bottle. Hmm. Like set this up, set this up in a Bloody Mary for me. Delicious, super super subtle flavor, but absolutely exquisite. And that's the the taco sauce from J Small Batch. I give that a solid eight out of ten as well. Um, yeah, Chili Bean, go check out this company. Again, uh. California Hot Sauce Solutions, if you're ever down in Southern California and you're looking to get some hot sauce, they, they not only carry their own, but they carry other people in the community sauce as well. Um, I, have, I haven't personally been to the storefront yet myself. Hopefully uh, I'll make a trip out from, from Georgia to Cali at, at some point in time. I'm sure I will because I still have charter season tickets. Um, no sugar, no preservatives in any of these sauces. Um, that's important to me. Uh, I, I don't believe in shelf stabilizers, you powder, any, any of that kind of stuff. Um, if you're making a good quality sauce, it's not going to be sticking around. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to be finishing that bottle before so, uh, shelf stabilizers and preservatives are necessary. And it also keeps the company honest as far as how often they're making their batches and how long something's sitting on a shelf before it gets to your table so very very important um and like most hot sauces gluten free for all those um for all those people that have uh dietary restrictions plus very little calories for hot sauce so you can you can pile that 